Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. If you are here, then I can assume that you have already installed React Native in your machine and then when you try to run your application, you are getting this error and this error states that Android Gradle plugin requires Java 17 to run but in our machine, Java 11 is installed. So in this video, I will show two ways in which we can solve this issue. Both the ways should work for everybody. Now the first step is that we have to install the JDK 17. For that, I will go to Chrome. Here I will search for JDK 17 downloads for window, click on the first link, then I will scroll down and I will go to windows and here I will click on this link, it will install the installer. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, this is done. I will open this. I have installed it two times. Now I will click on yes, then we have to press on next. Okay, this is the location where our JDK will be installed. So I will press on next and it is done. Now I will press on this close. After this, we have to open our environment variable. So I will go to my windows and search for environment variable. Just open this. Then we will click on this environment variables. And here we have to go to this Java home and you can see this is the part to our JDK 11. So we have to change that. So I will click on edit. Then I will open my file explorer and I will go to C program files. And here I will go to Java. And here I can find this JDK 17. So I will go inside this. I will copy this path. Again, I will go to my environment variables. And here instead of this location, I will paste that. Click on OK. OK, you can see here I am getting JDK 17. I will press on OK. This was the first way. After this, you can restart your laptop and try to build the application. Now, let me quickly show you the second step. For that, I will open that application inside Visual Studio. This is my React Native application. I will open it with code. Here I will go to Android, Gradle.properties. Here after this, I will add this thing, org.gradle.java.home. And after this, we will paste our JDK location. So I will paste this Java JDK 17. Okay, it is done. Now I will save this. Now let's try to rebuild the application. So I will come here and run this React Native run Android. And you can see here that I am getting this error that uh, Gradle property is invalid, okay. I think that backslash is not working. So I will again go to the code and here we can add double backslash. Okay, I will save this. Again, I will go and try to rebuild our application. So I will write here React Native run Android. And you can see it has started. Let's wait for it to finish. Till then you can see that this is my emulator and this is the application which I am currently building on React Native. So if you also want to learn React Native from scratch along with Node.js and MongoDB, then you can follow my playlist in which I am trying to make this application where user can do login, registration, user can get the details, admin can also register, admin will see the user's detail and many much more. So you can go and follow that playlist. And you can see here that my application build is successful and my application has been started. Just one more thing, first try to solve the issue with the first way which I have shown because if you follow the second way then whenever you build your application you have to add this variable each time for each and every application. So the better way is that you should edit your Java home there and restart your laptop and your build will be successful. And still if you are facing the issue then please let me know in comments. I will try to solve this. Thank you for watching the video.